Jane, first of all, look, if you look at trade, mm. right, so what's the potential of this escalating? So is, is it kind of like, you know, it'll simmer and no one's going to back down, but they'll shake hands and pat each other on the back, or could it go wrong? Well, it could go wrong. I, I think the market has taken the view that it will simmer and, then, and they'll get through it somehow. I, I think if you look at the prices of, of assets over the last couple of months, I think that's been the consensus view. But clearly it could go wrong. And I think if we look at, for instance, some of the corporate reports that we've had quite recently, we've seen a number of those suggest that they are concerned yeah. about what could happen with respect to trade you know further down the line that could have an impact perhaps it is already having an impact on on investment on on, on the way companies see their businesses going so clearly there is a, a significant risk here although I think the central view is now that they will somehow reach some sort of concession it's impossible to price Marilyn right because you don't exactly know what, what you know how this game theory will actually translate to, into trade tensions or not that's right. I mean, at the moment, it just seems like, you know, there's a lot of, obviously, um, negotiating tools going on. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, China has clearly said it's not going to implement any tariffs unless the U.S. actually implements something. The time period has been extended in terms of negotiations with China. Also, in terms of uh, the tariffs on steel and aluminium have also been sort of delayed for the EU and other countries. Um, but we are starting to see a little bit coming through in terms of some of the data, potentially, if you look at the PMIs coming out of Asia, you are starting to see potentially a little bit of negative sentiment in terms of exports. So it is having a little impact already. Um, Jane, when we were at the World Bank IMF meetings in D.C., it, it was very clear that if you spoke to Chinese officials, they took issue with the fact that actually their currency was also targeted by the U.S., as the U.S. saying they're manipulating them. I mean, if you look at Ramnimbi, and I am going to get a chart up for you shortly, are the Chinese manipulating it? Well, th what they're doing, what the, what the uh, in, in April, the, the Treasury named five or six countries on their monitoring list. So nobody right, right now is being accused of, of manipulating, but China, along with Japan, along with Switzerland, along with India and Germany, are on this monitoring yeah. list. Now, this is actually very interesting, partly to do with what's happening with, with China, but also actually with, with Germany, because we, we'll soon have uh, more of the, we'll hear more about the trade talks between the EU. There's a new deadline for that on, on June the 1st. There is a possibility, especially with autos, that the US could try and, and you know, pinpoint Germany right. rather than France. So that's very interesting too. 